in sports now. You know, yesterday the world was at a standstill following the opening spectacular ceremony for the Paris 2024 Olympics. Here is our sports correspondent, Francisca, to tell us what has played out today. Francisca. Welcome, Welcome to Sports Update. Table tennis star Olajide Omotayo has become the first team Nigerian athlete to exit the 2024 Paris Olympic Games as he lost his round of 64 game against Noshad Olamian of Iran in the singles category. Omotayo took the first set 11-6 but lost the, ne the next four sets as his 4-1 defeat marked the end of the road for him. Africa's number one, Arena Kodri, is currently taking on Eduard Unesco of Romania, also in the men's singles. Meanwhile, the senior women's national football team, Super Falcons, will be out for their first point of Paris 2024 when they take on world champion Spain on Sunday evening. The coach ran... Bam, Nigeria's Super Sand Eagles have failed in their bid to qualify for Africa Beach Soccer, Africa Beach Soccer Cup in Egypt after losing 5-4 to Mauritania in their return fixture of their qualifying tie. The Sand Eagles would just made a return to continental competition after a four-year break, won the first leg 5-4 last Saturday, but fell to shots at were fell to shots at home with Mauritania qualifying on a way goal. Roll for the tie ended 10-10 on aggregates. Kaduna-based Kada Stars and Kada Queens are winners of National Hockey League at Amadou Bello Stadium in Kaduna. Kada Stars beat Niger Flickers 5-3 in the men's final, while Kada Queens secured a 2 new victory over Plato Queens in their finalist while rep in the finalists will represent Nigeria at Africa Cup for clubs championship in Zimbabwe come December. We as a board, we're going to make sure the letters go out early to the clubs, most especially to, uh, to Kada, to Plateau, and then to Ninja. For the state government to know right, the right, right ahead that they need to sponsor this team early to start preparing for the to tournament. Ten teams competed in the male category, while ten teams vied for honours in the female category. Meanwhile, after the unveiling of mascots for the fourth Federal Ministry of Education sector game by Minister of State Education Tanko Sununu in Abuja, 23 teams will compete in the week-long event at the Abubakar Tafawa Belewa Stadium, Bauchi, from August 3 to 10. Organizers will review the game's compass, disclose that athletes will vie for honors in 13 sports, including football, where the Joint Admission and Immatriculation Board and the National Library of Nigeria were, were seated in Group A and B. Joint Admission and Immatriculation Board, U UBEC, National University Commission, NCCE, National Library of Nigeria, Federal Ministry of Education Headquarters, Tech Fund, and of course, I'll be coordinating with team when it gets up. Sporting Dreams will continue the quest to secure top flight football in Nigeria as they overcome New Don Tundil in the final of the FCT Super 4 tournament on Saturday. Dreams will now represent the FCT in the Zuna playoffs of the Nationwide League on Division 2 in Lafia with a ticket to NLO Division in focus. Well, that's the size of our package. It's back to Ruth. Thank you very much, Francisca, for that sporting update.